Hi guys, welcome to Websense Pro. I'm your host Bilal Naseer again with a new tutorial video. And in today's video, my co-host Nida Sheikh will teach you guys how you can play around with Loop Carousel in Elementor 3.11, which has been recently released. So without further ado, let's learn the latest feature in Elementor. Hi guys, welcome back to Epsons Pro. I'm your co-host Nada Sheikh with another tutorial on Elementor. Today, I'm very excited to introduce a very exciting new feature in Elementor 3.11, that is the loop carousal. With Elementor 3.11, you can elevate your website designs with the new loop carousal. Improve your workflow with the new copy and paste between websites and improve your visitors' experience. To use this feature, first of all, from the left-hand side, we'll click Elementor. Go to Features, go down and check if Upgrade Swiper Library is activated or not. If it is deactivated, you need to activate. Prepare your websites for future improvements to carousel feature by upgrading to Swiper Library. This needs to get activated to use this feature. Now, after activating it, go down and click Save Changes. This feature is now ready to use. Now, we'll click pages and add a new page. I'll name it as loop carousel and now we'll click edit with Elementor. Now from the left hand side we need to choose loop carousel. Drag it on the screen like this and click create a template. Click save. Now we can make our own loop carousel post or either you can choose it from the template which we already have on in Elementor 3.11. So for now I'll be adding up my own post. First of all I'll drag post title here in the plus side, designing website, I can customize it the way I want. Or H4, H3 looks good. And then I link the, it to the post URL so that whenever somebody clicks on it, it can be taken to the actual post. Now I'll drag a featured image below it. I'll link it to custom URL and then post URL like this so that whenever somebody clicks on the image, they can be taken to the actual post. Now I'll drag post excerpt and then I'm planning to add a button. You can customize it and you can also change whatever you want here to write for example. Read more. And anywhere you want, you can add as much design you want here. This first looks good for me for now. Now I'll change, click save and back and go to check my previous post. Let's see how it looks. This is how it looks now. It is bringing all my posts in a carousel and all everything is in a single format. Now if you want you can change and edit this container. For this you can go down to paginations. See these are the dots which it is talking about if you want none you can choose it and you won't get any dots but I think dots look good 
Okay, so in navigation, if you want the arrow, this arrow, you can choose it show or you can close it even if you want. You can go to setting, auto play is yes, pause and hover, okay, direction is from left. This is okay, then query, source is post, uh, order is descending, okay, it looks good now. And we can go to style now. We can change the gap between slides like this, like this. You know, it looks good. Okay, then go to advanced setting, the width, the size, the position. I think it's good for me. You can change it if you want. Slides to display three. You can change the number of slides to get displayed as well. Equal heights is on. Oh yeah, I think it looks good for me. You can change it whatever, whichever way you want. This is how you can make loop carousel for your product and for your post. Right now, I have shown you how to make a loop carousel for your post. In the next video, I'll show you how we can make loop carousel for the products as well. So if you like the video, please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe the channel and comment below for more videos